little bit more. A little more. Right there. Okay. Got some rice here that's been steaming. There we go. I got some chives or some green onions in there and some chili powder, chili pepper. And I'm going to put some, a little bit of uh, lemon juice in there. Just like that. Turn that off there. I have some halibut right there. And I'm going to take one teaspoon of this stuff will come out here. I'm going to warm it up here. Make some fish and rice here. Hot water in there. Get it to start flowing a little bit there. Okay. Just like so. Probably should have done this before. But I'll put one. It'll come out here. It's really thick. This is oyster sauce. This stuff is um, has a lot of salt in it, so about a half of a tablespoon right there. Okay. So <clears throat> I got this halibut right here. this here. I'm gonna see um, if there's bones in this halibut because I do not want to. Oh boy, it just fell apart. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> and it kind of stuck to this rubber, the silicone too. So. Okay. I'm gonna pick through this and make sure there's no bones in it. Sam. Looks like it's bone bone free. Just going to chop it up here. Look at that halibut just falls right apart. Just love it. Delicious. So I don't have, I do not have any salt in there except for that halib, except for the um, the uh, oyster sauce it has a, quite a bit of salt in it already. Then I put some pepper and then some spices, some chili powder. And then some uh, garlic in there too. And I put some green onions in there too. So we're just gonna go like this, just kind of stir it up there a little bit. I made, I, I used too small of a pan, but that's fine. Beautiful. It smells awesome, man. It's a little bit on the dry side. I didn't put nearly as much water in because this rice here, um, this rice here doesn't take as much water. Um, this is a little like medium grain rice. And I don't have to put nearly as much water in it. And I can get away with steaming it for less time to the medium green rice. It's like jasmine rice, I would say. Like that. I might have to put something in it to 
give it a little bit of a some flavor there or some pizzazz just like so and I'll be able to stir this up here pretty good there this rice isn't really sticky so I think I it's perfect it's two and three quarters um, it's one and a half to one So one and a half cups of rice to one and a half are used. I use two and a half, about two and a half cups of water and two cups of rice. That's what I put in this pan here. So what I am going to have to do is I'm going to put some oregano in it. Just a little bit of oregano. And... A little bit of lemon and pepper seasoning. Not too much because this stuff has salt in it. Just right there. Then some more garlic powder. And this is garlic powder. Not granulated garlic. So yeah. So I'll just cover this up. Come back in a few. This should be very delicious. I'm gonna put just a little dash of water in there because it looks a little bit dry. I might have to put a little bit more water in it too because it does look still look a little bit dry there. doesn't need anything. I did it just right. I could have done without the lemon pepper seasoning because that lemon pepper seasoning has a little bit of salt in it. <clears throat> that oyster sauce has a lot of salt in it. It's pretty much mainly salt. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It'll dry. So I think I might, might go with two and three quarters of a cups of water per two cups of rice to make the uh, rice a little bit more stickier. It's just a little bit too dry. I did let this steam for quite a while here while this stuff was cooking. I didn't quite time it, time it right. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Simple meal. Jim and I went metal detecting today for about three hours. Jim found a whole bunch of jewelry out, only found, only found a couple coins. Only found a few coins today, no jewelry. Thank you for watching.